Hello everyone, it's Queen of Lila. I'm back to you with another video. This video pertains to an update as it pertains to Dominion versus Fox News for defamation claims of $1.6 billion. As previously reported, a judge in Delaware ordered a jury trial in the Dominion voting systems as they sued Fox for $1.6 billion in connection in what they allege of the network airing false information, disinformation, misinformation, aka lying about the company's softwares claims provided by the twice impeached one-term grifter loser now indicted former President Trump as he and his associates along with Fox News spread misinformation, disinformation, false information, aka lying to the general public about the 2020 election which was tallied almost three years ago in which the people elected now president joe biden and vice president kamala harris in record numbers back in 2020 and since then trump and his associates which are connected to fox and other entities within the political realm have gone out of their way making statements defaming dominion voting systems trial was slated for april 17th 2023 but got delayed to april 18th 2023 in which both sides agreed to a settlement opting out of the jury trial in which Dominion received $787.5 million. Again, Dominion and Fox News settled on Fox paying Dominion voting systems an estimated $787.5 million. Dominion CEO John Pulo stated in part, Fox has admitted to telling lies about Dominion that caused enormous damage to my company, our employees, and the customers we serve. Nothing can ever make up for that. Throughout this process, we sought accountability. Truthful reporting in the media is essential to our d democracy. Fox News released their own statement. We acknowledge the court's ruling for finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. They continued by stating Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. We are hopeful that our decision to resolve this dispute with Dominion amicably instead of the divisive trial allows the country to move forward from these issues. These are my thoughts. I truly believe that Dominion should have went to the jury trial given the mounting evidence against Fox News and executives and hosts spreading the big lie. I truly believe that Dominion lost an opportunity in seeking the truth because to me, no accountability has been met as Fox News will try to find 
a way to spin this as a positive because to them, they consider profits over persons and the fact that they stated that they are committed to the highest journalistic standards is beyond me as there was no true accountability for Fox's actions during and after the 2020 elections. Let us be honest, $787.5 million is a lot of money, yes. But to Fox News, that's change as they will continue to peddle the big lie to their audience and advertisers will continue to do business with them. And that is a tragedy within itself. Now you will watch this brief flashback and I will be back with my final commentary. Because as a content creator, I know that I have to follow guidelines provided not by only YouTube, but by fan base and other social media outlets that I use. So if a small content creator like myself can take the time to find the information and relay it to the public my way, why can't Fox News, that is a multi-billion dollar company, take the time to explain to their audience how the voting process works? It's very simple. Persons were informed that the general elections would have taken place in November of 2020. Some states had early voting. Persons had the choice of voting in person or by mail. The votes were tallied and President Joe Biden and VP Kamala Harris were selected as president and VP. Full stop. The While fact that we have the First Amendment, which also includes freedom of the press, we should be reminded that defaming someone's name, telling stories, aka lying, can have a domino effect in real time, which can greatly affect the little democracy in which we hold today if we the people do not continue to calling out the foolishness aka lying misinformation disinformation we will continue to see discourse and chaos within our democracy again truth matters I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, please be safe out here. And I will see you in the next video.